Welcome. In this video, we will guide you through the steps for installing your new gas sound shield kit onto the 87R series compressor. This video covers the removal of the standard 87R compressor heads, as well as the installation of the gas sound shield attenuation chambers and valve plate. Before you begin, please read through the included instruction sheet. Safety is important. Please be sure to wear safety glasses and ensure that all power is disconnected from the unit. Remove all eight existing 1032 Torx head screws using a T25 Torx bit. Remove and discard the original two black heads, the valve plate, and all O-rings and screws. Do not move the cylinders below the valve plate. Keep them secured in the body and rod. Place two orange circular O-rings into the grooves on the bottom side of the valve plate. Place two orange custom O-rings in the groove on the top surface of the valve plate. Place the new valve plate with the O-rings attached directly onto the two cylinders and pump body. The valve plate bottom surfaces should lie flat with the body surface. Visually verify that the internal silencers in the attenuation chambers are not on the outlet valve side. Place both attenuation chambers directly onto the top surface of the valve plate. Carefully remove the fan guard with a screwdriver. With your hand, hold down the valve plate and attenuation chambers while rotating the fan to center the components with the rods. With the valve plate and both attenuation chamber outer profiles aligned, install the eight 1032 Torx head screws and torque them to 50 inch pounds in a cross corner pattern. Rotate the fan fully again to ensure the compressor rotates freely. Replace the fan guard. Ensure any ports that are not being used have port plugs securely fastened in place. Torque all port plugs to 50 inch pounds. Power on the unit and begin hearing the benefits of sound shield. This video covers the removal of the standard 86R vacuum unit head as well as the installation of the gas sound shield attenuation chamber and spacer plate. Using a T25 Torx bit, remove the four 1032 head screws. Carefully remove the existing head. Do not remove the existing orange O-rings that rest on the top of the valve plate. Carefully place the spacer plate on the valve plate. Ensure that the orange O-rings in the valve plate and spacer plate are properly seated. Place the attenuation chamber on the spacer plate. The outside profiles of the spacer plate, attenuation chamber, and valve plate should align. Install and tighten the four new 1032 button head screws using a T25 Torx bit and torque them to 50 inch pounds. Install the provided port plugs, elbow, and muffler assembly into the desired ports. Torque all plugs to 50 inch pounds and torque elbow and muffler assembly to at least 10 inch pounds. Continue to tighten until the muffler is in a desirable position. Your system is now ready to return to service. Visit us at www.gastmfg.com. Gast Manufacturing. We move the air that moves your world.